Second and third graders at the Marion P. Thomas Charter School begin each day with the Select Circle. It's a co-ed school with four select classes, single gender, all girls or all boys. Research shows boys and girls have different learning styles and Select caters to those differences. A primary goal when Select was introduced here two years ago was bridging the achievement gap for African American boys. With the boys especially, um, with the behavior issues, a lot of behavior issues we saw with the boys in the co-ed class, but when we brought them to the single gender class, there were no longer behavior problems. The research suggests that um, the boys definitely need breaks. The females in the classroom, the teacher is able to really speak to the, the students as lecture styles. With the boys, you have to actively engage them. The boys, they can quickly lose interest. So I'm very quick with the boys. Um, the I mean, I know you've noticed the brain breaks that we take, um, and it allows them to get up and move, have that movement. They, they love to compete with each other. The boys, they, they love that competition. Um, so the buzzers just allow them to do exactly that, compete with each other. Um, and they love the noise. <laughs> they love to hear the buzzer itself. It allows them to compete. It allows them to have fun with a subject that can sometimes be a little boring, you know. So uh, we integrate all of those different things, competition, fun, numbers, all of those different aspects. And they like being a boys only class. Because sometimes some girls pick on the guys and, and some, some of them used to always talk to, uh, some of them used to always talk when, pe when teachers used to be talking. Because with boys I can I like have fun with them and with girls like I, don't, I can't really have fun with them. I think that now there's an environment that's been created that they haven't been retrofit into that's really been created for them. So now our boys are in an environment where people aren't saying, you're bad, sit down, be quiet, and I have an environment now that is celebrating me and that's welcoming me. So as a result, I want to come to school now. It's not a bad thing to do anymore. A girl's physiological needs mostly are mental, mental stimulation from the brain, but they also need to be talking. They need to talk things out. They need to write and they need to talk, and it helps them solve their problems. I like that it's all girls because sometimes I get embarrassed and then people laugh at me, but they don't laugh at me. They're like my sisters. Girls also need to have fun when they learn with spelling games like Sparkle. E. N. Good. T. Good. I. Good. The Sparkle game, what we basically do is spell, spell words and, we, and the last person like that spells the letter, the next person after the last person, the person that spells the letter, they sparkle and do a little dance. Extracurricular activities are often single gender too, like a girls only Mardi Gras celebration, where girls learn the holidays origins and customs, while the boys and Mr. Silver host donuts for dads with reading and talking and role modeling. I've never done this before and I think, you know, having some other role models come in and speak to the kids would be a very good uh, deal for them and uh, I think they learned a lot from us. At first, some parents were skeptical about single gender classrooms, but the number of children placed in one doubled in the second year of the program. I just wanted him to be around young men and see how they grow up, you know, it's best to be. And then, you know, another part of it, honestly, you know, he has two sisters and I just wanted him to interact with more males. After only two years, there's no hard evidence on the effects of single gender classes here, but teachers see improvements in classwork, in confidence, and in setting goals. I want to be a teacher because I have, there are a lot of good teachers in this school and I want to be like them. I 